Today we're reading from John chapter 5 and verse 19, where Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself, unless it is something he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, these things the Son does in like manner. I'm not sure whether you're aware of this, but throughout Scripture we see that there is what Christians would call a Godhead. That's what the Bible says, Godhead. Uh, some of us call it the Trinity. This is the three persons in one called God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. I like to think of the Trinity or the Godhead as a team. All three members of the team have the same goal and the same purpose. The team is called God and much like a football team, they go together as a team when trying to accomplish their goal. Right here, we see a theological truth. Jesus says he and the Father are both doing the same thing at the same time. As we search throughout the rest of the New Testament, we can see that Father, Son and Spirit are all in the same stuff at the same time. They're all present in each thing that Jesus does. They all agree on what needs to be done. They all have the same values and they all have the same motives for doing what they do. Great thinkers across the world believe that there is nothing that Jesus does that Father and Holy Spirit aren't involved in, both in the planning and the outworking of each individual item of his agenda. So in this moment, in case you're wondering who Jesus is and what sort of authority he has, let me tell you that Jesus is God in all of his fullness, totally equal to the Father and the Holy Spirit, and totally at one with their thinking and outworking of God's ultimate plan. And what is God's ultimate plan, I hear you ask? 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9 says, The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit all have one purpose, one goal, which is to bring you freedom from this world, freedom from the pain of this world, freedom from captivity that this world has you hooked in, addiction and, and hatred and, and trauma. They want to set you free into life and life in all of its fullness. They want to give you life. They don't want you to perish. And they're all in on it. What's your response? Follow if you want to know more about following Jesus and about what he says in his word and about the freedom that he's offering you. For now though, I'll see you soon.